Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you the four things of the keto diet that I simplified to lose 17 kgs in 16 weeks. If you're new to this channel, a very warm welcome to you. And if you're joining me again, thank you for your support. Please hit that subscribe button so that we can grow together. I've got a lot of things that I want to share with you. So you guys know that on this channel, my passion is to inspire you to reach your personal and career goals. And one of my personal goals this year, actually all a, a, a lot of years, this has been a, a goal, a personal goal, has been to lose weight, get healthy, get in shape, right? And I, you know, actually think that I've actually found a solution to this. So guys, so what I did is that I've come across, you know, the keto diet. Because guys, the thing is, you know, with regards to you having a career, you cannot be successful in your career and pursue your career and business, but at the same time, you know, your health is in, is, is in jeopardy, you know, because of, you know, your, your lifestyle. So that, that cannot work because sooner or later, it doesn't matter how far you go in your career, you know, that health will come and it's going to limit you. So this is one of the driving things that actually got me to say, you know what, I need to get my health in order. So guys, I finally took control of my life. Today is actually, I've completed 16 weeks, you know, on the keto diet and I've lost 17 kgs. And I just wanted to share with you guys, you know, how I managed to simplify the keto diet, you know, for my own self. Because if you are like me and you like to research, one thing for sure is that there's a lot of information about the keto diet. There's a lot of information about the keto diet. So you can, and so, and that information can lead to number one, analysis paralysis, just because of the confusion. So number one, analysis paralysis, and number two, it can lead to you just being confused, confused, stuck, and you end up, you know, just not pursuing whatever it is you want to pursue. So guys, when I looked at the keto diet, it's a great diet. There's so many things written because it actually works. So when you look at the keto diet, what is the keto diet? Simply put, the keto diet is a low carb, moderate protein and high fat diet. So what you're doing is that you are getting your body to switch from relying on carbohydrates and glucose and sugars to fat, right? And fat, believe it or not, is a great source of fuel for the body. Right, so that's what you're doing when you're doing the keto diet. So essentially it looks like this. When you're looking at your calorie, you know, at your calorie count, the amount of calories you have at, at, uh, during the, um, in a day, and you look at you know, what percentage should come from fat, it has to be 70%. What percentage should come from protein? 20%. What percentage should come from leafy greens? 5%. What percentage should come from carbs? Another 5%. So that's how the keto diet looks like. And the beauty about it, guys, is that when your body is now fat adapted, or it's now, you know, pursuing, you know, using fat for energy, what it does is that when that fat you've been consuming for your diet, you know, in your diet, in, in your diet has been depleted, the energy from that, your body will then now switch to the fat reserves already in your body. And guys, this is where the magic happens. So your body goes after the fat in your body, then you start burning fat, you start losing weight, you know, and, and that's, that's the beauty of the keto diet, and you even lose fat at night, you know, and that's so awesome. So guys, that's the keto diet in a nutshell. So what did I simplify on the keto diet? So the first thing that I simplified and the first question that I had when I started this diet is, how do I know when I'm in ketosis? Am I in ketosis or not, man? I've been eating, you know, I've changed my diet. It's been three days now. What's the plan, right? So a lot of people, they do different things. Some people go out there, you have your blood tests done. You have, uh, you know, a urine test done. You have a breath test done to measure the amount of ketones, you know, in your blood, in your urine or in your breath. So for me, guys, 
that just sounds like a lot of work, man. I'm just trying to change my diet. I'm not trying to be you know, going to the pharmacy and doing all these things. So, you know, that was not appealing uh, for me. But a trick that I learned, you know, from Dr. Berg, and I speak about Dr. Berg uh, quite a bit with regards to weight loss because I think he's an expert with regards to the keto diet. I've spoken to him about it in my other videos. You can check them out as well. I'll put a, a link, uh, I'll put a link uh, in the description below about my weight, uh, you know, transformation journey as well. So he just said, Dr. Berg just said, you know what, if you are no longer feeling hungry, so what that means is that if you are no longer feeling hungry, you know, guys, you have switched your diet from, you know, your bread and all these things. Now you're just doing low carb, but now you're no longer feeling hungry anymore. Because the first two days, they're going to be crazy. I don't know, first week, whatever it is. But if you are no longer feeling hungry, but now it means that you are now in ketosis. Man, that's simple, right? And you see yourself, you're now losing a bit of weight here and there. Your clothes are now, you know, fitting, you know, loosely then that's you're now in ketosis and that's what i experienced and i was just like you know what that's cool that's all i need let me keep going so that's the ketosis test that i use that's how i simplified this for me right and the second thing guys that i simplified with regard to the food is do you do grass-fed do you do organic or do you just do the normal grain-fed stuff which is out there where they use chemicals and stuff and the, and the answer for me was this you know what guys Grass-fed and organic are expensive. They are good. They're the best. Of course, you know, you don't want to eat food with toxins, with antibiotics, things that are going to make you sick. But you need to look, do you actually have the access, you know, to those things? Because in some places, the only way you can get proper stuff is if you go to maybe a farmer's market or things like that. That's the first thing. And secondly, do you actually have the budget for it? Because guys, grass-fed and organic <laughs> Is mighty expensive you know it's it's not a joke you know I actually bought the other day actually yesterday I bought a smart carb mayonnaise because I just wanted to make a coastal salad I missed the coastal salad and I paid three times more the price of a, a normal mayonnaise so you need to weigh up and say that okay is this going to be sustainable for me if I go the grass-fed you know organic route of course you know you can do organic here and there grass-fed here and there but you know, if that's not something that you're willing to actually, you know, or you can't afford to do it, then don't do it for now. Don't let that hinder you. Just eat your normal grain-fed stuff until a point that you're able to access and afford those things. Then you can move on. on. Because guys, the grain-fed, uh, whatever, the eggs, they still work. You know, the, the, the bacon and whatever it is, the beef, the chicken, it still works. Though it might not be, you know, 100% healthy. So that's the second thing that I simplified. And the third thing that I actually simplified is in regards to the actual type of food that I ate, right? So a lot of people say that I need a meal plan to get onto the keto diet. I need this, I need that before I start. No, you don't. You don't need any of those things. What you, you are already, you're probably eating the 80% of the things that you're going to be eating on the keto diet anyway. You're probably eating those things right now. So for me, what I did is that I stuck to meat because I was eating meat, I was eating veggies. But what I did is that I removed the white things. So you remove everything which is white, guys. Your pastas, your rice, you know, bread, whatever you eat which is white, you know, and full of, uh, you know, the carbs. You simply remove that and you add in some good fats. So for me, the thing is, what I make sure is on my plate is obviously the, that source of good fat and my veggies is normal and a protein source. And that's, you know, that's what you basically eat. You know, don't stress yourself too much about getting into the treats, into the desserts. Into, for, for me, for dessert, I just eat a tablespoon of peanut butter, you know, no added salt, no added sugar. And that's it. Because the thing is, if you have a goal, right, you, you got... You want to, you can reach a goal of let's say 17 or 16 kgs in 100 days. Just go for it. You can focus. Food is just a fuel source. You don't need so much variety. I've heard people say that they can eat bacon and eggs for breakfast, for whatever, for forever. You know, if they have to. You don't really need those. When you start trying to complicate, get this, get that. Yes, those things are good. But if you're not yet at that level, you just want to get into the rhythm of eating, you know, the keto way. You don't need to actually, you know, complicate your, uh, you know, things for yourself. Just eat the normal stuff 
that is in your house right now. Focus on the goal that you want, which is basically to lose weight. And the fourth thing, guys, that I actually simplified is counting macros and tracking them, right? So a lot of people, they will talk about, you know, get an app. And I'm not that guy who's going to get an app and weigh my food and do all these things. You know, it's just too much, man. I'm looking for something sustainable, something simple. And the simple thing that I did with regards to that was, again, Dr. Berg saved me his beginner's guide to keto. I boil your plate, right? Half the plate should be leafy greens. Get some cabbage in there, some kale, some spinach in there, broccoli, whatever you want. Half of your plate. A quarter of that is protein. We all know what protein is. Chicken, beef, whatever you want. And another quarter good fat, get some avo, you know, and everything is rosy, you know, get some cheese, I don't know, nuts, whatever you, you, you want, it's a good source of fat. And that's it, you know, you don't need to stress yourself. I mean, sometimes you get, just get too lost in technology, right? I saw the other day on another Facebook group, someone was asking, guys, do you know an app for intermittent fasting? Man, you're telling me you can't just look at your watch and know that this is now my window for eating, it's now 12 o'clock? Then you eat, oh, it's now 8 o'clock, I'm not going to eat after 8 p.m. And that's it. That's simple, right? You don't need that. So, guys, that's basically the four things that I did. And the fifth thing, just for your bonus, but before I hit you with this bonus, hit the like button if you're getting value out of this. So, the fifth thing that I did, guys, was also simplify with regards to exercise. Exercise is important. However, it's only 20% of what you need to lose weight. Right? It is an important 20%. So what I did is that instead of you know, complicating things, do I do you know, high intensity interval training or weights or whatever it is, I did what I liked, which was running. If you like walking, just go out there and walk and do what you do. Man, and the weight will come off. It's got no option but to come off. So don't stress yourself. You don't need a trainer. You don't need to go to the gym. Those things are good if you have access. Basically, physically, right now, the situation probably don't have access to a gym in this season. But however, you have access to the outdoors. So let's do what we can, guys. Guys, I've started a new journey with regards to you know trying to tone my body, and I've now incorporated weights in my uh, exercise, and I'm gonna be sharing that journey with you and the outcome of that. I'm trying to get ready for summer. You know how it is, guys. So, man, I love you guys. If you got value from this video, remember, subscribe, share with your friends. Let them know, man, that, you know what, we now have got a solution to lose weight. Cool stuff, guys. I love you, and I'll check you on the next video.